live the life of a fisherman, it never gets old So welcome to the show, come on yo, we're going Ike Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Want to talk to you about the latest Going Ike video with MMA superstars Jim and Dan Miller. First of all, let me tell you, shout out to those guys, amazing athletes in the world of MMA fighting. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the show and how we caught them. And we used a technique that I call ultralight jerkbait fishing. And you'll notice in this video, the great thing about ultralight jerkbait fishing is that you catch everything that swims. Bass, crappie, bluegill, perch, yellow perch, white perch, anything. It's a great bait to have fun and catch fish. But ultralight jerkbaits also shine when the fishing's tough. When you have cold water, clear water, a lot of fishing pressure, or if you have post-frontal conditions, an ultralight jerkbait is a great way to catch them. The other scenario where ultralight jerkbaits work is when the forage base is small. From post-spawn all the way through the fall, you've got a lot of one to three inch forage in the water. It's what I call young of the year forage. And ultralight jerkbaits are a perfect match of that forage. Um, when I'm talking about ultralight jerkbaits, I'm not talking about your big four, five, and six inch jerkbaits. I'm talking about jerkbaits that are less than four inches long. You know, right up here on the wall are two of my favorites, and they're Rapala baits. You know, the first one is this real little Rapala Husky Jerk. This is the Husky Jerk size six, and it's about two inches long. And it's a perfect jerk bait when it's tough or the forage is small. You know, my other favorite one, and you're gonna see it a lot in this Go and Ike episode, is the Rapala X Wrap jerk bait in that small number eight size. And if you look at that number eight size, that's about three inches long. And they're the size and style of jerk baits that I call ultra light jerk baits. Uh, Wanna to talk to you a little bit about how to fish them why it's such a good bait when it's tough, and then we're going to talk about the rod and reel a little bit. Uh, you know, the first thing is talking about the most important thing when I'm fishing those ultralight jerk baits is cadence. Cadence is the most important thing. And by cadence, what I mean is the rhythm of how you fish that bait. And I've got a rule when I'm fishing all jerk baits, but especially ultralight jerk baits is you want to change your cadence every 10 casts until you find out what the fish want. So give an example for that. I'm going to throw that jerk bait out there, make a long cast. I'm going to start reeling it. And I'm going to reel it about eight or 10 times and I'm going to jerk twice and pause for two seconds. Jerk twice, pause for two seconds. I'm going to do that for my first 10 casts. If I don't get a bite, I'm gonna change my cadence. I'm gonna make a really long cast with that little ultralight jerk bait, click over, reel eight or 10 times. This time I'm gonna jerk once and let it sit for five seconds. Jerk once, let it sit for five seconds. And I'm gonna do that for 10 casts. You wanna keep changing your cadence until you get that first bite. And when you get that first bite, remember what you were doing and continue that cadence. Real important thing. You know, the other thing about ultralight jerkbait fishing, especially when the fishing's tough, is the fact that these are treble hook baits. And Rapala uses VMC treble hooks, they're amazing. Unlike a lot of other small baits, a little jig, a little weedless grub, um, baits like that where they can knock it and not get it, on these ultralight treble hook baits, man, if they come up and swipe at it because of those trebles, you're gonna catch them. You're gonna catch that fish. Uh, talk to you a little bit about the rod and the reel, and it's important because you've gotta make a long cast with these ultralight jerk baits. Let's start with the rod. You know, the rod that I want for ultralight jerk bait fishing is a six and a half to seven and a half foot medium or medium light action rod. I want something that's pretty whippy. You know, one of my favorites is a rod I designed for Abu Garcia. 
It's an Ike series rod, and it's the 610 medium light finesse rod. It's perfect. This rod was actually designed for drop shot fishing, but it's perfect for ultralight jerk baits because of that real limber tip. And that limber tip is going to help me make long casts, and it's going to help me have a little delay on the hook set, and it's going to help me land those fish with treble hooks. So you want a light, medium light rod, pretty, pretty whippy tip. The next thing's the reel. I like a 20 or a 30 size reel. If you see in this Go and Ike video, we're using the, the brand new Abu Garcia Revo Premier in a 20 size. The last thing's the line. A lot of different line choices, but the number one line choice for me is light fluorocarbon. I like six or eight pound Berkeley Trilene 100% fluorocarbon that's gonna let these little jerk baits get down. It's gonna let them have maximum action and you're gonna catch the fish. Last tip I'm gonna leave you with, pick a color jerk bait that matches the forage. You're gonna see in this Go Nike video, a lot of these baits have orange and gold in them. Perfect imitator of bluegill or yellow perch, and that's what they were feeding on in this show. Hope everybody enjoyed this episode of Go and Ike with MMA superstars, Jim and Dan Miller. Thank you guys for being a part of the show. Use them ultralight jerk baits. You're gonna catch a lot of fish and everything that swims. See you later. When I fish like him, you know I'm fishing hard. You might wanna say that I'm going like.